Last three or four months, I've been hearing a lot about agentic AI. I personally will only call something agentic AI if if I've delegated my decision making to that AI. It has to set its own goals and subtasks, and it has to adapt the decisions and actions based on something that changes. Uh, you will be able to choose uh, different agents, and you'll be able to give different private data access to different agents. Three or four months, I've been hearing a lot about agentic AI, and to me, that is the most beautiful thing. Well, I've been hearing it for the last two years, but it's, it has really caught on in the last six months, hasn't it? Yes, yes. The the, the term agentic AI is really uh, is on the forefront of everyone's uh, vocabulary in the last six months. You're correct. What does the word agency mean? The word agency means giving control to someone else, right? Like uh, if I have an employee and I give that employee agency, he can make decisions on my behalf, right? If I tell him, uh, go and uh, open a bank account, right? If I, if he has to come back to me with all the information, okay, so these are the five banks where you can open a bank account. This is the chart I've made. Tell me which bank. So he doesn't have agency. He's just a data collector, right? But if I give him agency that he can now go ahead and actually open the bank account, like I, he doesn't have to come back to me and ask me again. So that's agentic AI. But I personally will only call something agentic AI if, if I've delegated my decision making to that AI. The way agentic AI works is a bit more complicated, but my definition, it, it has to analyze data, definitely. That's when I call it agentic. But more than that, it has to set its own goals and subtasks and it has to adapt the decisions and actions based on something that changes. So yeah, being able to set its own goals, tasks and subtasks, and then achieve those goals, tasks and subtasks, uh, is the is what would call some what would allow me to call someone as agentic AI. If the AI is not making small decisions on your behalf, then it's not your agent. Only when the AI starts to make small decisions on your behalf, starts to set its own goals and tasks and subtasks, then it becomes an agentic AI. So in your example, if I told the AI that, okay, uh, order me food from DoorDash and I feel like eating uh, uh, Indian uh, paneer makhani, right? Then uh, if, if it decides which shop to order it from, which restaurant to order it from, reads the reviews and decides, then it's agentic AI. It made decisions on my behalf. It was my agent, but if it, but if I, if it's not making decisions on my behalf, it's it's coming back to me, and telling me, uh, uh, telling me that uh, look, uh, these are the five shops. Which one do you want? I, say, I want this shop. Then it says, do you want small, medium, or large? I say medium. Then it's not agent AI. Then it's just, it's just doing what I'm. I am still in the loop. But when it starts to make decisions on my behalf, it becomes my agent. That's when it's agent AI in my definition. Agent makes a decision on your behalf. How much of your personal data do you have to give up to that kind of intelligence? Bank account, for instance, authorities, uh, power of attorneys, do you give an agent uh, to be able to charge that money themselves? And the electronic analogy of that is you'll have to give that to whichever app or agent you have. However, the beauty of having um, all these agentic AI apps is that you can also control it. You can also, if they fo fulfill certain standards, it is all algorithmic rather than leaving it open. Uh, you will be able to choose uh, different agents and you'll be able to give different uh, levels of data, uh, private data access to different agents. For, so for example, I might have an agent that helps me do my grocery shopping and that agent might only know my dietary habits, what kind of food I like and will have access to my credit card. But there might be another agent uh, who I might take uh, medical advice from me. And even 10 years from now, that agent might be measuring the level of my insulin in my blood and deciding how much uh, uh, how much insulin I need to uh, take through an injection. So that's a decision that that agent will make. And that agent will know everything about my medical history. But the agent that's uh, doing my grocery maybe doesn't need to know about the insulin level in my blood. So different agents will have different levels of access. and. Uh, uh, and uh, humans will be able to control what kind of data which agent has.